by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Canta, being coach. This was a game where you guys uh, pulled away a couple, or started to pull away, right? It would build the lead up to three or four. They would get back every time, but every time you managed to have an answer. Well, I thought, you know, I mean, I think we got to play better defensively, and I think our wing plays got to get a lot better. I think our faceoff guys got to get a lot tougher. Uh, but they've been doing a good job. Justin Bernardi's a young guy, Nate, and we'll get it. And then we won our share when we needed to win and, and did some things. We figured it out in the, in the second part of the third quarter and the fourth quarter. We did a good job. But, you know, we're, you know, I thought we did a good job making plays when we needed to make plays to win the game. You know, we weren't great defensively, but at times we needed to make the play. We made that play. We got the ground ball. We got it up. And, you know, we did some great, we did some good things. You know, this is the type of game. They're a gritty team. They had their back against the wall. They played a lot of really tough teams, so they were tested. And, um, and uh, you know, I thought we responded. You know, we were able to, you know, it's always a good sign of a good team. When your defense doesn't play well, they, can you rely on your offense to help you? And I think today we did that. You know, we took 54 shots, scored 16 goals. We probably could have had 20 goals if we made some of the, uh, some of their goal he didn't play so well. I mean, I really gave him, I thought he played really, really well. And, uh, but our goalie played well. So, um, you know, it's a good game and we'll learn from it. And now, uh, you know, we get ready for Tuesday. Coach, you talked about Tuesday, Salisbury, um, number one team in the country going down there. Obviously, the rivalry. You got some great contributions from some unsung players. Uh, Ethan Christensen, four points tonight. Brandon Watson, four points tonight. How big is that for you guys as you head into that game? Well, you know, Ethan's a freshman, you know, and he's getting better all the time. You know, I think today he really blossomed a little bit, saw some opportunities, and made some tough plays. And he's a tough kid. And uh, Brandon Watson, you know, a year off, you know, it's his third game in, uh, you know, in the last two years, and he's getting better. You know, his speed really showed tonight, and you see how he's really starting to play and hit a big shot. And, you know, he's just getting better and better. So by, you know, by the t game nine or ten for us, he's going to be outstanding, we think. So he's just getting better. And I think, you know, everybody, JT, you know, hasn't played in a year in his first year starting three goals tonight. And I thought he, he got a much better feel for the whole game and, and stuff. And so, you know, we'll get ready for Salisbury and see what they have. We watched them play today. And, you know, we watched them play against Ohio Wesleyan. We have a really good idea what they're all about. And as I'm sure they have a great idea of what we're all about. And, uh, you know, we'll go down there and uh, give it our best. And uh, we'll see what happens. And, you know, with those games, uh, anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you mentioned the play of your goalie, Ross Stein, and 14 saves. And some of them were very spectacular, but yet maybe not even the most spectacular saves that were made tonight. Yeah, we had a couple, and our guys are willing to jump on the net. You know, down a free hill save is one for the yep. books, you know, and uh, you know, too bad we couldn't convert at the other end, or we'd be watching that for one for a while. But, you know, our guys are willing to do that and jump in front, and I think that came from a year ago with Taylor Morgan, one of our captains, being able to do that and showing guys what effort really means. And and uh, Ross is the leader. You, know, you just see him out there, how well he's playing, and guys, when he, he makes a mistake or something happens, you know, guys are willing to jump in there and help him out, and it's great to see Ross and his long journey. He had to become a starting goalie, and he's played well and done some great things, and so we're really happy for him. But, you know, guys jump in there making saves and getting hit with the ball is part of the game and you know it's <laughs> hey we, we appreciate him doing it that's for sure <laughs> coach you know we talked about the schedule coming up Salisbury yep. on Tuesday but top 20 teams 10 days five games I think it is you know that's tough. You put that pressure on your team. How do you prepare them for that long stretch? Well, I think that, you know, this is the way we always go about everything. You know, for us, you know, it's about playing the best teams in the country week in and week out, and that's what we do. You know, playing, you know, we've already played RIT, who I think is very good. And then, you know, we played, uh, you know, Gettysburg, and they're number six in the, in the country. And, you know, now we played the number 20 team, and now we get ready to play the number one team. And then we got to get play, ready to play Lynchburg, who will probably be fit top 15. They had another outstanding win today. And, and then we'll play York, you know, who had another great win today. And then we'll go play Toss, who's playing great, beat Middlebury on Friday, and did a great stuff. So, but that's that's what it's about, you know, playing great teams week in and week out to prepare ourselves for a conference schedule. And also, hopefully, if we can win some of these, put ourselves in a tremendous spot for the NSA tournament. And that's what Stevenson Lacrosse is all about. And I think our guys understand that and want to be a part of that. And as I, as I tell people all the time, we can beat anybody 20 to 1. We can schedule that up and get, you know, eight or nine weak teams. And you can be 8 no, and everybody's like, oh, how great you are. But we won't be very good, you know. So, But we have to play great teams in order to accomplish what we want. And that's what we do. And I think our guys appreciate that. And uh, my assistants hate it. They yell at me all the time <laughs> about, you know, how can you set this up? Why do you play these teams like this? Uh, no scrimmages and everything. Oh, well, that's just that's just the deal. You know, that's what we like to do. And uh, and uh, you know, it, it's, I think it's a lot of fun for the guys that play these type of teams week in and week out. It's a lot. Of, I think it's a lot of fun for the coaches, and I think the players really enjoy it as well. Well, it'll be a big week, not only Salisbury but obviously the Mustang Classic next yeah, weekend. Coach, we're psyched for that. Yeah, really appreciate it. Congratulations on a big win. Go enjoy it. Thanks a lot. I will appreciate it. Here is Coach Paul Cantor been joining us here on the All Access Post Game Show.